Okay, question 10. An engineer plans to visit six oil rigs A to F. Here we have A to F in the Gulf of Mexico, starting and finishing at A. The traveling time in minutes between each of the rigs is shown in this table. The data above can be represented by a graph G. Use Prim's algorithm to find the weight of the minimum spanning tree of the subgraph of G obtained by deleting A and starting at B. Right, so, okay. This is they've combined the Prim's algorithm and the deleted vertex algorithm. I've brought both of these um, from my lessons. This is not the question. This is not in any form in the booklet or anything, but these are from my lessons where I give the steps on how to use Prim's algorithm and the steps on how to use the deleted vertex algorithm, just so I can refer to them easily. Obviously, you need to learn these off by heart. But just be careful. What he's doing here is he's saying, right, first, we're going to delete. He's saying, first, we're deleting um, A. So for, pr for Prim's algorithm, we have to assume that A has been deleted. So A has been deleted. OK, then. He says, use Prim's algorithm to find the weight of the minimum spanning tree of the subgraph of G obtained by deleting A and starting at B. So we're basically doing Prim's algorithm for this, for B. Hang on, I need to delete A here as well. So forget about A for a second. We're going to do it for B to F. That's the subgraph, if you like. Okay, so Prim's algorithm. First, choose any vertex. Or if they give you the the starting vertex, which they do starting at B, we start at B. What was that? Starting at B. So we're going to start at B. Cross out the row of this vertex. So B, cross it out. Number the column of this vertex. So this guy, B, is number one. Then number the column. Uh, sorry, circle the lowest non-zero number that has not been crossed out in any of the numbered columns. If more than one, choose any. Okay, so here I'm going to choose, I've only got one numbered column, it's B, so I'm going to circle the smallest number, which is 46. The row of this number is the new vertex right down the edge. So the edge is B, C. That's the edge, B, C. Then, um, and I'm going to do comma, B, C. And then it says repeat steps two to five, five until all the rows have been crossed out. Okay, so I cross out C like this, and I call it two. Then I get the smallest number in either of these. It is 58. So that's D, and it's B, D. So my next edge is B, D, comma, Cross out D, label it, um, label it 3. Now, what's the smallest number here? Well, it's 23. This edge is D, E. Comma. Cross out E. Call this 4. Smallest number here. Well, there's only these numbers left. And it is 47. And this guy is um ef e f and then we just add up these numbers is 46 plus 58 so it's 46 plus 58 plus 23 plus 47 that is equal to 70 70 plus 90 is 160 plus 14 is 174 so 174 um, is the weight of the minimum spanning tree. So that's it. That's the weight, 174. Hence, find a lower bound for the traveling time needed to visit all the oil rigs. Okay. This is the deleted vertex algorithm mixed in with Prim's algorithm. Remember, we deleted A. The deleted vertex algorithm is we delete a vertex and all the edges connect to it. The vertex may be given to you in the question. If not, choose any. Find the minimum spanning tree for the remaining graph. That's what we've done. 
Then three, add the two shortest deleted edges to the minimum spanning tree. So the two shortest edges are basically the two smallest numbers here. So it's, it's, um, it's 55 and 63 and that's it. So it's the lower bound. So the lower bound will be 174 plus 55 plus 63. Dare I do this in my head? So that's 110. Uh, so that would be 284, 289, 292. I hope that's right. Okay, that's the lower bound. And finally, part B, he says, describe how an improved lower bound might be found. Well, um, we only, fo for lower bounds, we focus on the deleted vertex algorithm. So the only other way to improve it that we are aware of, shall we say, is to choose um, a different vertex to delete at the start. So he said delete A, so we'll say um, delete a different vertex, that's it. And maybe if you deleted a different vertex and did that whole process, you might actually get um, a lower or an improved lower bound, which would be a, a smaller number than this. Okay, um, that's it, guys. Um, actually, sorry, let me, let me say that again. An improved lower bound would actually be a bigger number than this because you'd have a, um, obviously, you, the lower bound is always going to be like uh, one is a lower bound but um yeah an improved lower bound would be a number bigger than this okay that's it guys that's question 10